Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about how you can change your technology or your domain if you are not tagged into your favorite technology. Suppose you wanted to be a back-end developer, now you are ended up being a front-end developer or some tester or some support. You, you are tagged into any other uh, thing or any other technology you are not interested in. So how you can change that? So I will give you few suggestions and on based of my experience and my journey, like how you can change your domain or you can change your technology of your choice. Before starting this video, let me introduce myself to those who are new to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Amita Singh and I'm a full sec developer working in Verizon. I have also worked in Cognizant. So let's get started. So basically there are two way, way, uh, two, two way to change your profile or to change your technology you want to work on. Now let's take an example. A person A who was interested in development, now he is tagged in some testing project. Maybe, Let, let's take an example. The person A was fresher, he was uh, interested in development, now he is tagged in testing. Now what he has to do? Uh, means he he's now tagged in testing so he will not work no you don't have to do this the first way let's discuss about how you can change the technology within the company within the company you can change okay let's get started so now the person a what he has to do he should not uh, stop working in uh, you know the whatever task he has been assigned with because so just because you were interested in development now you got pro, you know testing project so we, you will not work right no you don't have to do like uh, anything like this so what basically happened if you are attacked over there no issues not a problem first of all if there is a vacancy in the development project reach out to your manager reach out to your supervisor see uh, i'm very much interested in development i have these 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 experience in that i have developed so many projects in, into that and i my coding skills is good and i'm really i really want to learn the development so could you please tag me into that project internally they can shift the resource whether they can shift it uh, shift the resource to development or they can shift the resource to support whatever they want so internally the things can happen so first thing if there is a requirement in development, then you can reach out to your manager. But how you will know, get to know that there is a requirement in uh, development? So for that, the most important thing in industry, make connections. Connection making is very important in, in, in any industry. If you are making a good connections, if you are making a good amount of connection with all the people, then definitely for everything you will get to know whatever the requirement, whatever the things are happening in the industry, whatever the things are happening in the project, you will get to know at the first place. This is the great opportunity. You can grab it. So build connection. How you can build connection? I will shortly upload a video on that and please do watch because connection making is something which will lead you, which will like take you to very high level. Okay. With the help of connection, you can grow your career to any extent. So that is very important. That's why I highlighted it like this. Okay. Now this is the case when there is a requirement in that and you get to know, yeah, there is a requirement. So I'll reach out to my supervisor or manager. See, uh, I'm very much interested in that. Could you please tag me? And they will not say, no, I will not tag you because you are assigned with assigned as a uh, tester. They will not say like this Be because they will consider what you want in the project. If you are not happy with the something, then they should consider that. And they management are uh, management people. Most of the most cases, they are really good and they are very understanding people. So reach out to them without any hesitation. Don't hesitate because it's your career. You should not hesitate while taking any step in your life. Now, the second option, there is no requirement in development. OK, but you are in a testing. Now, if you are in a testing, you need to prove yourself. Don't stop working in that please avoid this because one year of your of your journey starting one year of your journey will be like a provision period it may be the six month is a provision period in some company one year provision period in some company so one year is very crucial for any employee for any fresher make use of it whatever task it's assigned to you it will not be that tough because you are a fresher it they will not treat you like a experienced person and they will give you so much difficult task it's not going to happen now 
justify yourself with what you have got okay be like you should you should give your 100 percent whatever task coming to you now the thing is connection first connection making if you have built a good connection there is no requirement in uh, the development fine even there is no requirement in development learn the uh, development project sit with the people who are into de into development or sit with the people who are into testing if you are interested in testing and if you got the development project now sit with the people before reaching to your manager just sit with the people see the flow how the project is working how the project flow is going understand the project trust me it will take your time you have to contribute yourself you have to contribute your few hours apart from whatever your working hour is means not apart from your working other basically whatever the working hour nine or eight hour basically people only work for four to five hour the efficient working hour is four to five hour not more than that in any company so how you can utilize your time in your free time or in somebody else's free time you can make use of it go to the person go to that person and try to understand the thing hey you are in the back end development i just want to know like how the things are flowing suppose you are assigned with some zira some some zira or some user story or whatever then how you are working on it I mean, how it is implementing at the back end try to understand the project if you are interested in front end try to understand the front end with the front end people go sit with them spend time spend some time with them try to know how the things are flowing in the project now the second step now you have got some idea a little bit of idea about the project now what's what next now volunteer yourself to the development uh, development task reach out to your manager reach out to your uh, supervisor ask them hey uh, actually what i'm thinking i am doing my task means whatever testing task is assigned to me i'm do doing it on time and i will do it okay i'm not denying the fact that i will not do it but i will do it but the same one but i just want your favor like i i really want to you know give my put my effort into development task also so could you please give me some stories or some user story or some task into development maybe a little bit maybe a small small task i just want to explore myself like uh, on a wider range as i'm a fresher i'm very much keen interested in learning things i really want to put my efforts in learning the the, uh, the back end or the front end technologies as well so i just want you to please apart from my work my work will not impact uh, that uh, you know my work will not get impacted because of the extra task i'm taking so i'll i'll make sure to manage my time and could you please make uh, you know make use of me as a resource so that i could also understand the back end thing i know this sounds very creepy right why would i work extra hours for the development task if i'm not tagged into that guys this is for your benefit that's how i started even i in fact i uh, how i started i i had a good connection around my uh, around me whatever task or whatever the new things coming up like whatever there is a new requirement i, I always volunteer myself whenever i heard like oh there is a requirement in uh, in this thing in that team so i used to go to my manager hi what to hi i want to work in that i am interested in that so i that's how i used to do so presently also i do i do like this only though i have my development work now if i am interested in managerial thing and i uh, i just ask them apart from my development work i want to volunteer myself into these things and i will i will my my development work will not get impacted don't worry i will put my 100% effort in that but just give me those tasks so that way you will gain two thing one is visibility and the second thing you will grow you are not only doing the testing but you are also doing the development so means you are putting your efforts into this project so basically what happens that what a manager or higher people look for a people should volunteer or people should have a eager to learn the things uh, to learn anything whatever comes to them or if even if their things are not coming to them they should volunteer themselves for learning new things means they should capable they should be flexible and adaptive enough to learn and they should have eager to learn the new things and they will trust me they will not stop you volunteer yourself first volunteer yourself make your plan what you want 
Now, if you think I don't want to work more hours, I just want to work six to seven hour, eight hour, nine hour, and I just don't want to, you know, put my extra effort in the team. Why would I do that? Means what? I, they are only giving me thirty k, forty k, fifty k, and why would I put extra effort? Because you are putting extra effort for yourself. It's not going to, it's yeah. It will going to benefit the project as well as you, but it will be more beneficial for you, not for the project, because you are doing a, a small task. A, a small task, uh, uh, you know. Even if you are not doing, the project is not going to impact much. But you are doing it for yourself. So try to volunteer or yourself. Try to learn the things. That's how you grow. Now, this is the two option. How you can change the technology within the project. Now the third thing, uh, this is the first thing that within the project how you can change the technology. Now the things are not going well. Suppose that's the second scenario. If you really want to learn something, but you are you are putting your effort, but you are not getting the right track. Now the second thing, what you have to do? Take your time. Maybe one or two year. I would say two year or one and half year. Whenever you get opportunity, just make use of it. Prepare yourself for what you want. Like what technology you want to go in. Suppose in front end. Now the first thing, go and understand the your project. Your project understanding is very important. So first thing, before switching the company or think about switching any company or think about I want to work on this technology, then first gain the idea of that technology in your project. Okay. Now suppose I'm interested in backend development. I will go to I'll uh, go to the uh, the developer who are doing the backend development. I will ask them how the things are working, how they are working on that, how in our project these things are implemented, what version we are using, what are the tools we are using, we are using. So now after gaining the idea of the project, start preparing for the interviews. Make yeah, make use of your time. Like it will hardly take one month for any preparation. Now the next step. Is apply for the interview for the profile what you want, not what you were tagged in. Like if you are tagged in the testing, don't prepare your resume or just don't make your resume like a testing profile. Uh, it's just it's like a bluff game. Means um, usually we uh, do what we want because agar sidhe you know ungli se ghee nahi nikle to ungli te teedi karni padti hai. So that's what you have to do now. Now prepare your make your resume like. You were a developer in the previous company because nobody know what you were doing in that company. Now, while in the interview, while sitting in an interview, trust me, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Now you are sitting in an interview. Suppose you have applied for the backend developer post and you have uh, make your resume like you were a backend developer in that falana falana company in that project. Just prepare your resume like this. It's just a bluff. Okay, you are bluffing the interviewer. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is not bad, yar. I mean, I'm thinking like, is this bad? No, you can do this. Okay. Now, in front of the interviewer, what you have to present yourself? Like you were working as a backend developer. You have a good idea of your project. You know how the project flows in the at the backend because you have to get the idea within one or two year. Okay. Don't forget to do this. You have already prepared for the technologies. You have already prepared for suppose Java. Okay. You know, you know you're good in Java. Now the next thing, the interviewer doesn't know where you have worked on, and if you justify yourself in the one hour of the interview, you got the offer letter. You are hired for what technology you wanted. Suppose a front end development you wanted, and you got that in the next other company. So that's how you can change your technology or you can change your domain. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was helpful for you, don't forget to press thumbs up.